Food lovers around the world know Vancouver, British Columbia as a delicious destination spot. And Japa Dog is at the forefront of the city's best eats. This hot dog empire is making the bucket list for their Kurabuta pork franks, loaded with every Japanese-inspired topping you can think of. From savory teriyaki sauce with a mountain of crunchy seaweed to overflowing yakisoba noodles. I'm so excited to find out what all the hype's about. This is one of my favorite places in Vancouver. Anywhere can have the hot dog, sure. but I've never seen this hot dog. It's really famous because they get a lot of Asian-style ingredients, yeah. and they place it in the hot dog form. So it's something that was supposed to go wrong, but it works perfectly. Yeah. Noriki Tamura moved to Canada with the dream of sharing his one-of-a-kind Japanese hot dogs but he couldn't have imagined the global success they'd bring. His commitment to sourcing custom ingredients mixed with totally out-of-the-box thinking has made Japa Dog an outright sensation. What do we have here? These are octopus balls. It's deep fried deliciousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we have any other ones too? I am. <laughs> These are for me. <laughs> we'll get another order for you. Can we have another order, please? Is this the hot dog that started it all? It is. Really, really juicy pork sausage, yeah. Japanese mayo, and nori on top. Like a flavor explosion. Keep your eyes open. Yeah. Wow, I'm eating a hot dog. <gasps> now keep your eyes closed. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I'm interrupting something, really. Noriki, you invented hot dogs with all the delicious Japanese toppings on it. Yes. How many hot dogs do you think you've eaten in your life? Oh, I cannot count. <laughs> <laughs> too many? Oh, hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sadly. More of an Italian sausage, but that's okay. The first Japa dog we're making is the Korobuta Terimeo. Korobuta Terimeo. Korobuta is what? Special sausage. The special kind of sausage. Yes. And so Terimeo, what is that? That's teriyaki sauce yeah. and mayonnaise. Oh, That's com combination. Like that. Yeah. that sounds very delicious. So what's the first step? What do we have to do? Boil the sausage. Tell me about this sausage. Sekai the number one to order pork sausage. Number one. Yes, number one. Okay. King of pork. The king of pork. Yes. Very juicy. Yeah. Tabeta dogi na parito kan ga. Got a nice. Masu wa kurobuta sausage wo boil water ni iremasu. For how long? Five minutes. Barbecue grill de yakimasu. For how long? Three minutes. Ah, it's a good sound. Oh, so you slice it now? Slice, yes. OK. This is your bun. Japanese style fua fua pan. Japanese style fua fua pan. Fua fua ga pan. Yes. Fua fua means very soft. Very soft? Yes. Nice. We put uh, onion. Grilled onions, yeah. Onion. Teriyaki sauce. Japanese mayonnaise. Yeah. How different is it from North American mayonnaise? Tasty, is mild, and the seaweed. The same seaweed that they use around sushi? Yes, yeah. same, same. Okay. You can give me a haircut after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kurobuta terimeo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is amazing. That sausage is a beautiful snap, so juicy. You taste that pork straight away. So savory. A little bit of sweetness from the teriyaki. Super rich Japanese mayo on the top of it all. And then that seaweed adds a nice crunch to it as well. This is bucket list worthy hot dog. And I'm so happy that I'm here. This is the way you end a meal here at Japa Dog. The best dessert in Vancouver. What's this here? A red bean paste. I think it's healthy too. It's sweet, but it's, you know, <laughs> it's healthy. Healthy, healthy, right? <laughs> Instead of a hot dog, they've got fried shrimp. And then they put it with some nori rice in a bun. So it's fluffy, crunchy, sweet, savory, very enjoyable. It's a tempura shrimp on a hot dog. It's always extraordinary. I don't mind getting messy. It's really good, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I saw your customers eating the ebi tempura. It's important that I have this dish in my life. <laughs> Where did the idea for this hot dog come from? Because uh, in Japan, yeah. tempura, tempura with rice. So you took that idea and you decided put it on a bun. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the first step? We have to make rice. This is a rice steamer, yes? Yes. Put rice. Put the rice in there. Water. Water. And soy sauce. Soy sauce? Yes. Now this is interesting. Adding the soy sauce right to the steamer. That makes the flavor of the soy sauce go through nice, all the rice. Nice smell, oh, yeah, nice taste. I like this. <laughs> and it cooks for how long? 30 minutes. How do you say 30 minutes? Sanjipum. Sanjipum. Yes, pop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could smell the soy sauce in there. Yes. Yeah. What happens now? Next, uh, we make uh, 
AB, tempura. Let's do it. What's inside the tempura batter? Tempura flour. Yeah. Just water. That's it. That's it. And these are big shrimp, too. Yes. They have to take the place of the hot dog. Yes. yes. How long does it fry for? Three minutes. Three minutes. Yes. You just want to get it nice and golden brown? Yes, golden nice. brown. Oh, yeah. Look how perfect that is. Japanese style. Kua hua? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much fluent in Japanese now. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Rice goes on. Umami sauce and the seaweed. Those are the biggest chopsticks I've ever seen. Then maybe shrimp. Mosque. Yeah. Tell me about the sauce. Okay. Salty, sweety, and uh, more Del flavor. Delicious. 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 Nice. Okay. Ebi tempura. Thank you so much. Delicious. Oh, come on. That's so good. This is the best shrimp tempura I've ever had. They're big and juicy shrimp, perfectly battered, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. It's got a nice bite to it. That umami sauce on top, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's salty. It works perfect with that crispiness of the shrimp. The rice is nice, light, and airy. And then when you mix it with that soy sauce right into the rice cooker, it takes it to another level. I'm just going to do a little bit extra on that, just a little bit. That is so delicious. 